Hey guys, welcome back to the second video of the SciPy tutorial series. In this video, we'll be covering the constants sub package in SciPy. So, the constant sub package in SciPy gives us access to common mathematical constants such as pi and the golden ratio, as well as common physical constants such as the speed of light in vacuum, Planck's constant, Newton's gravitational constant, the elementary charge, Avogadro's number the mass of electron, mass of proton, and the mass of neutron. So if you're doing scientific work in Python, and if you're working with scientific equations which use one of these physical constants, then it's a great idea to use SciPy and access the value of these constants through the constants sub package. Now the list provided here is not complete. If you want a complete list of all the constants available in the SciPy constants sub package, you can simply visit this link, which will be provided in the description below. But basically, this will provide a list of all the constants available, and you can just visit this link. So, I'll be showing you how to use this sub package. So, first, we'll see mathematical constants. So, first is importing the values of the constants. So first you need to type from scipy.constants. This is the name of the sub package that we are using. And then we'll import pi. Alright, so both are lowercase letters. And then the golden ratio separated by an underscore. And then I've used an F string to simply print out pi and to print out the golden ratio. So here you can see that I have printed out pi, which is 3.14159, and the golden ratio, which is this value here. So let's say if you're calculating the area of a circle, let's say radius is 5, and we'll simply print out the area. pi times radius times the radius all right so you can see that this is the area of the circle so that's how you use the scipy constant package so first you need to write scipy.constants and then you have to import the name of the constant so if we go back to the table here the left side is the name of the constant. So that is what you're importing. So this is also what you're supposed to import. For physical constants, you have to import C, H, G. Here is capital, so remember that. This is lowercase e, uppercase r. All right, so here you can see that pi and golden ratio is how you're supposed to access the constant value. So next, let's look at physical constants available in SciPy. So let me just comment out the remaining for now. Okay, great. So to access physical constants in SciPy, you have to again write from scipy.constants, import m underscore n and Avogadro. So here what I'm doing is m underscore n is the name of the constant which is the mass of a neutron. So here you can see that m underscore n is the mass of a neutron and Avogadro is how you're supposed to access the value of the Avogadro's constant. So let's just run this code here and you can see that the mass of the neutron is 1.67 times 10 to power minus 27 kg. So this is scientific notation here and Avogadro's number is over here. So it's a pretty big number. And again, you can just visit the documentation to find out what units these are in. So the first value is in kg and the second value is actually a constant which says how many particles or molecules are there in one mole of substance. All right, so I'll comment this out and uncomment this okay so 
So what this is here is that we are importing from scipy.constants. Again, this is the sub package that we're using, and we're importing physical constants. So this example on the top, so these constants are float values. So they are single numbers. This here is a dictionary. It's a Python dictionary. So I hope you know what Python dictionaries are. Uh, if you do not know, then you can just see another YouTube video on that. But anyway, so to access something in a dictionary, we have to use a square bracket followed by a key. So in this case, the key is a string. So here I'm just trying to access the mass of an alpha particle, which is a helium nucleus, I think. Okay, so what do we have here? So here we get three, three, we get a tuple with three elements. All right. So the first element is a float number. So it's a really small float value, which is the actual value. It is the actual mass of an alpha particle. The second element is a string, which tells you the units. So in this case, the unit is in kg. And the third value gives you the uncertainty of your constant. So your constant is not perfectly accurate. Uh, there is a little bit of uncertainty in the value and this is the uncertainty. All right, so we have only accessed one thing, which is the alpha particle mass. So I'll comment that out. And I'll print out the entire dictionary. Okay, so a lot of stuff has just been printed. So let's look at something. Okay, so we can see something like neutron proton mass difference. So I think a neutron is slightly heavier than a proton. So it's just telling us the difference in mass. So this is the difference in mass. So it's a pretty small value. Next, it gives us the unit the value is in. So this unit is in kg. And finally, this is the uncertainty of the value. So again, if you see, this is the loop. I'm looping through the entire Python dictionary. So this is the key. The key goes in between these square brackets. And the value is what is returned. So this here is what is returned. And then we're iterating through dictionary.items. All right, so you can see that there are many, many constants here. And yeah, you can just check it out by printing it out and you can just see everything. All right, so that's how you're supposed to use the physical constants. It's a huge Python dictionary that contains a lot of useful constants. And yeah, you can just check it out. Anyway, I'll just uh, comment out this. Finally, is conversion of units. So here, kilometers is in thousands. So let's say you want to convert something. Let's say you're converting from meters to kilometers. Then you have to take that value and divide by kilo. So let's say I have something like meters is equal to 800, then print in I'll use a f string here and then meters divide by kilo. All right, so here you see that in kilometers, this is 0 0.8. There are other others as well. So for example, there's Yota. So I actually have no idea what Yota is. So Yota is basically, so one Yota meter is 10 to the power 24 meters. So that is pretty huge. And you can see that in Yota meters, in 800 meters is 8 times 10 
to the power minus 22 in yotta meters. All right, so there are other conversion constants as well. So let's say there's deci. So just one more example I'm showing you. So in decimeters, 800 meters is 8,000 decimeters. All right, so that's pretty much it for conversion of units. So SciPy is very useful for converting of physical value from one constant from one unit to another unit finally the great thing about scipy is that it allows us to easily convert temperature so let's see how this works so from scipy.constants we'll import convert temperature so this is actually a function so previously we imported float float values and then we imported a python dictionary so here we're actually importing a function from the scipy constants sub package so what we're doing here is that we have a value a temperature value in fahrenheit so this is 900 fahrenheit and then we are converting this 90 fahrenheit value into celsius so we can easily use the convert temperature function so first is the temperature value, all right? That's the first argument. So the value here is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Next is the units the value is given in. So here it's in Fahrenheit. So I put capital F and then I want to convert it to Celsius. So this is in capital C. And then I'm simply printing out the temperature in Celsius. So you can see that 90 degrees Fahrenheit is 32 degrees Celsius. So this function can also work with Kelvin and Rankine. So I'm not sure what Rankine is, but I know what Kelvin is. So let's see what this is in Kelvin. Uh, let me just change this as well. Right, so this is the temperature in Kelvin. So 90 degrees Fahrenheit converted to Kelvin is 305 Kelvin. So let's say this was in Celsius. All right, so this is now 90 degrees Celsius. So we need to edit this part. So this is capital F. So we'll just change it to capital C. And you can see that this is the temperature in Kelvin. So this is 90 degrees Celsius converted to Kelvin. Just to do a check, we'll make that zero. And this is the temperature in Kelvin. And we'll just make it minus. That should hopefully be almost zero. So yeah, this is zero degrees Kelvin. And you can also convert to Rankine. I'm not too familiar with the Rankine temperature scale, but you can just check it out, I guess. So yeah, this function works with four different temperature scales, which are Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin, and Rankine. So this is the temperature in Rankine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned how to use the constants sub package in SciPy. If you like this video, then please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.